What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn Rad 89 here, bringing you another rad movie review today. And for today's, we are going to be talking about No Time to Die, Daniel Craig's final outing as James Bond. Oh, man, I, I couldn't wait to see this film. Like, I was so excited, but October goes a packed month for me. Busy watching a lot of horror stuff and binging Halloween and getting into Halloween kills and all that kind of stuff. So I was, like, really focused on that. Now we're on to, like, my Bond month. And finally, No Time to Die, as I said, Daniel Craig's final outing. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. So let's get into this. Roll it. So if you're new to the channel, how I usually do this is I go through my positives, my negatives, then I give my rating and I cap it off and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into this. No time to die as we follow Daniel Craig's final outing as James Bond where he's kind of off doing his own thing again, kind of living his own life, trying to be away from it and gets brought into a new like crazy espionage filled freaking adventure of spies and warring factions with like the CIA and MI6 kind of competing to capture the same person. So it's a really good, interesting story. So let's get into the positives of what I did love about this film. <laughs> So one of my major key things about this film that I love is it's really cool to see Daniel Craig back. He's one of my favorite James Bond actors, and this is like, oh man, to have him back. And we know it's his last one. In terms of that, it is a really good one. You know what I mean? Like, they really did send it off nicely in terms of like his final one just like it has all these good emotional moments and it's very powerful in terms of his movies that we've been through the five that he's been in i think this is the most emotionally packed film that he's been in they really go for the feels trying to pull on your heartstrings and all that kind of stuff so i did appreciate that like this one goes out there it's bold and like i said it goes for the really big feels and our supporting cast, like Lashana Lynch, Jeffrey Wright, and Ana de Armos, like all, all of them, all the supporting cast people, I think, did a really good job in this film. You could really feel them. They all have their kind of moments, and they all do good in supporting and driving the story and making it more interesting. Like, I was on the edge of my seat every time. I didn't feel like there was... A boring moment in this film like I really felt like the film just was a good pace and it kept you interested it was it kept you enthralled and right when you kind of felt like oh they're, they're talking a lot or it's a lot of exposition stuff action snaps in and it takes you right into it and it continues on with the story and one key character I really did love was Lashana Lynch playing Nomi as she's the new MI6 operative. Like, oh man, it is really cool. I think her character was amazing. Her and Bond, the scenes, they really bounce off of each other good, her and Daniel Craig. So that I really loved. And also the action in this movie. The action is very... It's not the most hardcore we've seen in a James Bond movie, especially Daniel Craig's, but... I think it's very beautiful, like the set pieces, the way it's shot, the way it's designed, like the action and the fighting, it comes out to be really good. It's kind of like a really orchestrated fighting sequences and action sequences, but in a good way, not where it's like, oh, you can tell they're kind of faking it. Like, no, not like that. It's like beautiful to look at. That's why I really loved about the action sequences. And there's a lot of great locales, beautiful scenery and all that kind of stuff. This one really, they go for it. Like I think they had a big budget and you can tell, like they go for it. They pull out all the stops, you know, for this one showing you, you know, snowy areas, like jungle type areas, you know, the city areas, islands, like it's just, it's got a lot of different locales in this movie. And I thought that was really cool, exotic all over the world. Now let's get into my negatives. And there's not really many negatives. Like I, like I said, I really did have a blast with this movie. I'm a huge Bond fan and this one was I think a really good one it nailed it pretty good it hit all my expectations but let's get into what I feel like are somewhat like minor negatives for me in my opinion so for me one of my like minor negatives because it's not a big big one it's just kind of minor was Rami Malek I think his villainous character I think he is kind of weak like I wouldn't say he's bad he's not a bad actor I love him like Mr. Robot is one of my favorite TV shows like I think Rami Malek's a great actor I just think the character for this one <clears throat> it wasn't really there I didn't feel the gravitas of him plus the the thing that he has at his disposal in this movie as a weapon the like their main threat the thing that he has at his disposal is so much more scary 
than his actual character. So I think it's cool because it's a big threat. Like it's world stakes ending type threat. But I just think it's so much more scarier and it eclipses Rami Malek for me. And he's really not in it that much, to be honest, in the movie. He's actually in it the least amount, I think, of almost any of Daniel Craig's Bond villains that we've had in his five films. Another one, this is, like I said, just a minor one. You really have to, this is a connective story. And you really have to see Daniel Craig's other four Bond films if you really want to enjoy this one. So I don't think, you can't just be like, oh, like, I don't. I mean, I like I know there's very like kind of layman Bond fans out there that are kind of casual, so you could possibly be one of those people. But if you're a Bond fanatic, you've seen all of them already. But if you're just a casual Bond fan, like you can't just see this one and just enjoy it. You really have to experience the other four films Daniel Craig was in to really get the full gravitas of this movie. But overall, in my book, No Time to Die, I had an absolute blast with this movie. It had the feels. It had the action. A great supporting cast. Daniel Craig, one of my favorite Bond actors. And it was just such a good film. Like, I really did have a blast. In my book, No Time to Die is going to get a hard 9 out of 10. This is definitely going to be a must-buy for me when it comes out on DVD. And, like, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite of Daniel Craig's Bond films, but it's pretty close. This is a really good one. Like I said, it's got everything to offer you in terms of action, spy, espionage, drama. You know, it even has good comedy moments in it too that don't take away from the actual drama and the scene or anything like that. So I really did, like I said, had a blast with this movie. And if you've seen No Time to Die, let me know in the comments section what you thought of this film. Did you enjoy this Bond film, this last outing for Daniel Craig, or did this one fall flat for you? Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I'm going to be doing some other Bond content as well throughout the month. I'll be ranking my Bond actors, and then I'll also be ranking all the Bond films too. So stay tuned to the channel. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.